today I'm here at my vineyard. This is not Tuscany. This is my backyard in a way. Uh, this is where we have a lot of events for Rancho Compassion, and I am cooking up the easiest pasta dish from Calabria, Italy. This is a four ingredient dish that's done in one pot. We're talking red onions, spaghetti or linguine, some olives and a little bit of chili pepper to make this one pot dish that doesn't even require you cooking the pasta separately. You can do it outdoors, you can do it camping, you can do it on the beach, in your backyard, when you have a single burner, you want something that's delicious and different. This is the Vegan Good Life with Miyoko. Now, the sound is a little windy, I'm sorry, but I'm not that technically advanced and I forgot to charge the mics that we got. So I'm just gonna talk really loud above the noise of the wind because hey, that's life, the vegan good life and you just gotta roll with it. So I'm starting out with onions. I've got red onions. You want one onion per person. So I'm just gonna slice these up. I know it, I know it looks like a lot of onions but it's all gonna cook down and to this pan, after we saute the onions, we're gonna add some water. We're gonna add the pasta right in there. And the starch from the pasta will help thicken the sauce. And at the very end, we're gonna throw in some olives or some tapenade for a bit of acid. We're gonna add some olive oil. And we're gonna start by cooking the onions. I'm gonna give it a little bit of salt and give it a stir. And we want to cook these down until they start to sort of caramelize. It's going to take about 20 minutes or so. Absolutely delicious. It's a windy day. It's beautiful up here. The weather is lovely. Not too hot, not too cold. And the grapes are coming in. The, the lavender is in full bloom. I love coming up here. It is so relaxing. Here at Rancho Compassion, where I live at the sanctuary, we have a lot of events up here. Uh, we had a big event just last weekend. Uh, we have a pizza oven, a wood fire pizza oven right over there. So I made 32 pizzas. Made the dough, I made the sauce, I made the cheese and all the toppings and threw 32 pizzas to feed a big crowd up here. It was fantastic. Um, as I've said before, I love to feed people. The Vegan Good Life is all about sharing, about community, about breaking bread and pizza and pasta and everything else together. Uh, sharing with all of our friends, whether they're human or furry. The grapes are coming in. A few more months. We'll have delicious table grapes growing here and Pinot Noir growing over there. And my very favorite, Concord grapes as well. All right, this big slab of redwood is a table sitting on some horseshoes. This is where we have gatherings, intimate and large gatherings. You can seat about 22 people. We sit here, I serve big platters of food and people from all walks of life gather to, to share a fabulous vegan meal, uh, get to know each other, make friends. This is something that we do for Rancho Compassion, as well as personally. We have a big Thanksgiving event up here, Thanks Living event, that's what we call it. We do that up here as well, too. Okay, the onions are relatively tender and sweet. I'm gonna start adding some water to this and then we're gonna add our pasta directly to this. I have some pasta, this is linguine. You can use spaghetti uh, or linguine. I, would, I wouldn't go much fatter than that, uh, but this is what they had at the store. I couldn't find any spaghetti this morning. I don't know why. So we're gonna put this in the pan. Ideally, you wanna use a pan that's wide enough to be able to put your pasta directly in there. So you're gonna put about four persons worth in here. And we're gonna bring that to a boil. Now, in Calabria, they like things a little spicy. So if you wanna add some chili flakes, you can. I forgot the chili flakes, cause that's what I do. But I forget things all the time. But just remember, you can always add the chili flakes at the end, or you can add it 
uh, as you're cooking all of this and, and create that beautiful aroma as well. I'm gonna put a little bit more in just because that's what I do. And you're just gonna cook the pasta in here with the onions, adding more water as necessary, about 10 minutes or so. Make sure that you're kind of pushing the pasta around so that they, they don't stick together. Uh, and they'll soften up and then you can kind of mix it up. And that the starch in the pasta creates a lovely sauce with the onions, the sweetness of the onions. Just why you want a little bit of that spice from the peppers. Uh, but we do have some tapenade that I've made. So this is just basically chopped up uh, olives. You can add whole olives to this. You can chop up some olives and stir it in here, or you can add some tapenade. Now, I didn't have any whole pitted olives. I didn't want to bother pitting them today, but I did have some tapenade. In fact, I had about a quart of tapenade lying around the kitchen, so I decided to use that. But the olive contrasts so nicely with the sweetness of the onion. So you want a little bit of that umami, the salty, the complex, the acidity that comes from the olive. Uh, and then just a little bit of pepperoncino, just a little bit of that pepper, hot pepper, uh, just really takes this over the top. Okay, the pasta is perfectly al dente, and uh, I gave it a try, just to make sure. As you can see, the sauce here, it's now this lovely sauce that is completely from the starch on the pasta. I'm gonna take some of the tapenade now, and I'm gonna stir it in here. This is gonna add salt and acidity that will contrast beautifully with the sweetness of the red onions. You can also just add some chopped olives to this as well. Capers would also be lovely. Just something to add some acidity and saltiness. And of course, don't forget the chili peppers that I forgot. Add them to this because you want that experience. But I'm telling you, don't do as I do. Do as I say, as I always say. I can smell the olives, the onions, all of this. I think it's ready. You can always add more. All is if you want. I'm just going to give it a try and see how it is. What an easy dish. Olives, onions, and pasta. That's it. Oh, and a little bit of chili peppers. The four ingredients are three. Let me give it a try. Mm. Absolutely perfect. So I'm gonna add all of that. Oh my God, we got a delicious pot of pasta. You can do this over a campfire with a little burner outdoors and you have a wonderful gourmet meal. So thank you for watching another episode of The Vegan Good Life with Miyoko. I'll see you again soon.